Hey, good day, and thanks for checking in with Gorilla Magic's latest endeavor. We're going to be going over a couple of Photoshop tutorials over the next few weeks as a preview to the upcoming workshop we'll be having. So after taking a poll and asking what you'd like to be able to do most and having the most trouble with, we uh, got a response about working on some skin issues and toning. So I'm going to use this picture of this medical professional. Now I'm using Photoshop CS4, but any of the techniques I show you here can be used on Photoshop 7 or higher. I'm going to start after opening the image by grabbing my zoom tool. And just so I can get the area that I'm working around, rather than just click anywhere, I'm going to, the zoom tool can be used also as a drag. So I'm going to click, I'm going to drag a box around the eyes because that's where I want to work on most. And that'll just give me that area in my frame. Uh, now I'll never work on just the background layer that you see here, so I'm going to create a new layer. And layer 1, I'm going to call Lines. So that way I'll know what it is in case I was doing multiple tasks later. The tool we'll use for this this time will be the Spot Healing Brush. So after I click on that to activate it, your taskbar on top is going to show you the parameters. Uh, that is the size I'm going to want. I am going to keep the mode on normal. Um, proximity match or create texture. In this case, I'm going to do create texture because it will match the texture surrounding the brush of, the, uh, of, of her face. And make sure sample all layers is checked. That way it will work on both of these layers you see here. Now I'm going to, with the tool, if it wasn't the right size, using the bracket keys left and right, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. I'm going to stay with that 20 size, and I'm going to draw an arc right around the left eye. I'm going to draw an arc around on the right side, and I'm going to work just a little dabs on the crow's feet on the side. And then the space bar also becomes a move tool, so if I hit space till I see the hand icon, now I can move up to work on the bottom part of her face and retain the same magnification. So. I'll do the same thing. I'll come down the line here. And there's a mark on the chin. And we're even going to tap on this reflection on her nose. We'll get rid of that as well, a little white spot. Um, and we'll try to get that eyeliner area. Okay. Now, at this point, it looks like she's only had just a little bit of extra Botox. She's smoothed out. We did that. But um, we want to keep it real. So what we're going to do now with the layer, here's the original. And here's what we just fixed. But again, without that Botox look, making sure you're on this layer that says lines, we're going to drag the opacity down to about 60%. By doing that, we're revealing what's behind it on the background layer. So now we have some of the lines, but they're not as harsh. They're not as deep. So. We'll do that, and that will be our tutorial on how to smooth out skin tones. So I like this so much, I'm going to go start working on, on one of my images, and because I don't need to have these wrinkles anymore, I can just fix them up, and boom, they're done. So thank you very much for visiting, and stay tuned for more tutorials, and look forward to our workshop at GorillaMagic.biz and on Facebook. Uh, make sure you make a fan of us on Gorilla Magic. Have a great day.